12 degrees out here. Beautiful sunny day. Cold. I'm going to run a boat. Yeah. Swamp buggy. Go test out my recovery boat that I picked up. Got the radio on. Battery's plugged in. And I think I just need to arm it by hitting full throttle. Beep. Release it. Two beeps. Yeah. You got power. So, yeah. The Aquacraft Mini Alligator Tour. Alright. Pretty maneuverable. Not sure how to behave on the water. The thing I'm most interested in is range. So, i take her for a little run down there, see what happens. A little squirrely. <laughs> ah, I got it stuck. When in doubt, power out. Here she comes. Let's right, see what kind of top end we get on the ice. <laughs> Woo! Oh boy, bust her up in the cold. That's not cool at all. I think we'll be gluing this thing back together. First run. Bummer. Plastic ain't made for the cold, apparently. Well, that was eventful. I'd be lying to say I saw that one coming. But it's cold out there. And apparently this plastic, I mean, it, this cage just shattered. It's not designed for 12 degrees, but I got to test the swamp buggy. They make replacement parts. Looks like I'll need a cage. And I broke this link right here. I have that snapped off. This is just pop free. These pins fit back in the cage. This survived. The hooks underneath there. Nothing broke. Shifter didn't break. I think it uh, immediately popped free when it flipped. So, anyhow, got my test in. Can't say I can blame Aquacraft for the result of that one. I finished my recovery boat. Here's the PVC frame. The foam tubes for flotation. And I managed to set everything up with Velcro. Want it to be handy. Got the Aquacraft Mini Alligator Tour ready to run and it's about as simple and as handy as this once I drop the boat in the frame these velcro tabs right here hold everything in place Ready to go. One of the things I wanted to accomplish was 
have it be handy to set up. And I wanted it to be secure enough to where it becomes like one unit. So I think that will do the trick. And I wanted to be able to very handily disassemble it if I need to for transporting it. Schwamigan Bay off of Lake Superior, northern Wisconsin. This is the hot pond from the power plant. Got a little ice to deal with here. A little spot to test out the rescue boat. See if I can't move some of this ice a little bit here. Let's have a spot to navigate through. And we might be able to get through there. Alright. Let's give her a go. Full throttle. Arm it. And let's see what we got here. So what I really want to see is how this thing handles that frame on. Not real fast. Not fast at all. I guess it'll get out there. Out of the battery holding up. If I trim his miles off. I'll set that right now. Handles nice. It's trimmed fairly straight right there. Hands off. Guess it'll get out there. Wasn't quite what I expected at first, I suppose. It's causing it. I'll pick it right over that ice. Maybe not. That's the ticket here to get this thing back in. There we go. Oh, she's hung up. Now we're unhung. I got reverse, right? No reverse? This thing don't have reverse? No! It's my chances. Try this. Try pushing this out. <laughs> I need my boat back. Reverse. That's killer. Oh no. Now I'm hung up on this thing. There we go. We're off. Okay, let's get back to his opening while we can get her back. Don't need more ice. Come on home, baby. All right, you're in reach. There we go. Oh, got her back. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy.